Saba, Elum Moro Poema. Okay, so let's start all over again. Yeah. Uh, this is called The Mighty Ones. The Mighty Ones, yes. A Konsaba from Children. They are sibling, female and the male. Sweet honey prophet pebbles on our roads. Guided, guiding markers leading us to here. Tearing at times of greed and despair. Namai Keka Vari Naratum, Varikati Matrum, Vari Naratuvar. They feel to you who should see. Pera say Silanerangalil, Nambai, Vraktiaki, Kiritividum. We all who spawn them as seeds. Avergal Ungale Path, Ningal Yar in Re. They ask, and what now, Mama? Okay, that's it. Oh. Um, what we usually do is try to break it down for you. So it's a seven line poem, and we just tried to explain to you. This is a poem, it's a seven line poem, it's called a Quonsava. It's seven lines with seven words per line. And um, it's 49 words in the whole poem. And usually I try to, to, to explain to you what, what, it, what it's about. So uh, this one is on children. Uh, and it's from, actually it's inspired by uh, the Givran poem, On Children. Okay, so when it says, there are sibling, male and female, that's children, okay? Yeah. Now this next line says, sweet honey prophet pebbles on our roads. Now there's a, 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 an American African singing group uh, they, they do a cappella, female group, and they're called Sweet Honey in the Rock. And they did this as a, as a song. So this is a reference to them, Sweet Honey, and then, and then, and then Prophet, meaning uh, uh, Kel Gibran, the prophet who wrote the, who wrote the original poem. Guiding, guarded, uh, 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 guided, guard, uh, guide, <laughs> guided, 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 guiding markers leading us to hear. Okay, so the children are trying to make us hear. They have their markers to make us hear. Tearing, I mean tears, at times of greed and despair. They feel to you who should see, you being the adults who should see what we're going through, children. We all, we meaning the, the, uh, the adults who spawn them as seeds, they ask, what now? Mama, that's the universal mama, and Tata. Now, in, it's interesting because in, in Tamil, Tata means grandfather. Grandfather, yes. And uh, now in, uh, in South Africa, there's a uh, the Osa culture, which is one of the cultures. They're the only ones that use Tata oh, as, yeah. Yeah, they use Tata also. Usually yeah. they say ba other cultures in South Africa say Baba or, or, or in other places they say, say Baba. So it's kind of, it's it sort of blends yeah. it together. Oh, right. I'm not Tata and Grandpa Pole. So there's the connection. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you.